All right, day two, we are at the International Sportsman's Expo in Denver, and we're with Mike. Mike is the uh, new dealer in Colorado in yes, Western sir. U.S. Yes, sir. So, in Hard Scrabble, right? Yep. My name is Mike Lewis. I'm the owner of Hard Scrabble Outdoors, and I am the first dealer west of the Mississippi River for these amazing Conqueror trailers. And uh, happy to be here. I'm happy to be able to bring these uh, great products to the uh, western side of the country. Nice. Well, if you guys haven't seen one of these, uh, they're amazing. We'll take you through a quick walk around and just show the two different models you have here. But you have four in total, right? Sure. Yeah, we have four models. The two that we have here are our higher-end models. We also have two models um, that are less expensive, uh, smaller packages, and also less costly. Um, and, and look forward to yep. showing those uh, at other shows. Awesome. Sure. Well, let's go take it. So this model is the 440, but 490 here. So let's walk through a little bit. What's what's the difference between the, the models and some of the highlights? Sure. So this is our UEV 440 Extreme. Um, it sleeps four. Weights are right around 4,000 pounds, fully loaded. Um, it, uh, it, it has most of the features that the 490 does, except for it's in a smaller package and less interior space. It's really the things that you give up with this model less costly, obviously, and less weight. Um, right here is one of the focal points of these models. This is the kitchen. It comes with a sub-zero refrigerator freezer, two compartments, 85 liters. It's completely programmable for temperature in each compartment from 40 to minus five degrees. So you can make the whole thing a refrigerator, the whole thing a freezer, or, or either way. It also comes with a two burner propane stove comes with full utensil setup and glassware. And it's built so it's not going to fall out when you're off-road. It's all so We've had a lot of luck with these not breaking, yeah. um, with, even with some of the extreme conditions some of our customers take these in. It also comes with a full set of utensils and plates. It's all nice, secure, so you don't have to have And then also hot, cold running water. Yeah. So. It's a great feature to have uh, when you're outside. Um, also, this whole area can be enclosed with an awning and walls, so so you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about cooking your food out in the rain. So yeah, so that, that's a great feature that, that, that many of the Conqueror models have. Great, and there's so much storage for your pantry and your you know, yeah, all wine and wine rack. Which so is, these uh, exactly these <laughs> are made in South Africa. The South Africans love their wine, as, as do we. Yeah. And so this is a wine rack or whiskey, whatever your uh, yeah. uh, choice is. And I'm looking down at your tires. What size are those tires? So those are 30 inch tires. 30 inch. Um, Conquer really does a great job with the suspension. Yeah. Um, they've been making trailers for nearly 30 years in Africa. They're in every country in Africa. And they're in Australia as well. And they, they do a great job making these rugged and dependable for anywhere you want to take them. Yeah. So this is our shower area. It actually folds up into a compact unit that sits on top of the spare tire. You can see the spare tire behind the, the wall there. The difference between these two models is one of the differences is the entrance area. This has the rear hatch. Sure, yeah, you enter this from the rear. Um, we'll, set, we'll see the other ones uh, when we look at the 490. And this have, it does have stand-up room so you can you know, do what you need to do. It's got two beds and space for four people in there. It also has a great amount of storage. There's three bins on the left side here that, that will fit three yeah. full-size suitcases. So there's a ton of storage in this model. Yeah. So this is a uh, mutter grill, right? Yeah, it sure is. If you could pull back the cover a little bit, that's actually a grill. You can take off the spare tire and cook your burgers and hot dogs yeah. over the fire. Yeah. Especially when you're overnight, you know, not a campground. If you get tired of using nice. a propane grill, yeah. You get a little tired of it. So this is the passenger side. You have your side bed pulled up here. Heavy duty can't have this. There's normally poles here, right? Yes. So this side has uh, three storage bins. Uh, if you do not get uh, the heater option, you can add a four storage bin. And that heater runs off of propane, was it? Yes, on this propane. model? So you, you're never going to run out of storage. And these storage sense. bins are, are actually South African ammo crates. So they come out, 
and take them in your house, load them up, bring them back, and you're ready to go. Thanks. Well, let's go take a look at the 490. Let's go. All right, so this is the 490. This is the biggest one. Um, first of all, what's the big difference between weight between the 440 and the 490? So actually, fully loaded weight is not a huge difference. This one's probably 200 pounds or so uh, more. The, the Really, the big difference that you gain with the 490 is interior space. And we'll show that to you guys in a bit. Okay. Um, we're here on the kitchen side again. Yep. Uh, there's many of the same features that's on the 440. You have your pantry, which you can access from inside the cabin as well as outside. So middle of the night, you can grab a snack if you wanted to without going outside. Um, plenty of storage. Yep. Bins with extra heavy-duty canvas, similar to all the pop-outs. And this is on both, models. on both models. On all the models, actually, right? All the small ones, too. Uh, once again, we have a refrigerator freezer. We actually have this one set up as a freezer. And we've got our ice cream in there. <laughs> so you, never have to, you never have to worry about taking the ice out to the field with you again. <laughs> And so the biggest change in, well, many differences between the two, but this one, you have two doors. Yeah, correct. That's one of the other big changes. Is the 440, you had a rear entry door. This one, you have doors on both sides, so you almost have a pass-through as well, as you can see. Yeah. And the nice thing is, we'll show you on the other side, but this side is the kitchen, and the other side is your bathroom. Exactly. Area. And shower. Area. Yeah. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, in the inside of the 490, and uh, one thing I see with this one is you actually uh, have a nice dining yeah. area. So tell us a little bit about how this configures. Yeah, this is a, actually a great area. Um, right now it's configured as a, in a dining room setup. That table actually detaches from its current location and then sits down and makes the middle of the second bed. So theoretically, Conquer says you can you can sleep three people, one on each side and one in the middle. They better be pretty friendly or small. <laughs> Um, but uh, and then also there's the bed in the front uh, for two people. Which is quite large. Um, one of the things that's good about this model that's different than the uh, UEV 440 is with this model you don't have to worry about popping anything up or bumping anything out. If uh, you come pull into a spot late at night or the weather's bad, you can if, if there's only two of you, you can pull in, uh, you come in the door, keep up. everything closed yeah. up, and just go to bed. So so that's one of the benefits of this model. And the great thing you'll see along walls uh, is all the all, all the storage options and it's zippered in so if you're off-roading none of your stuff's going to come flying yep. out there's tons, tons, be tons of storage in here that's that's one fans. one thing Conquer likes to do is make use of every available inch of space yeah. and then also securely so stuff's not going to go flying around yeah and then also this this is like I said our flagship model we've got virtually every upgrade that you can put on this you can see that we've got a TV screen we've got a DVD uh, FM radio and we've got our electrical center, which also shows, which also has a push button, lighted breakers for yeah for all the different electrical. So it's really systems. easy to see where you are, judge how much you you're uh, where you are with your batteries exactly, and so you're never going to be surprised with anything running out. You got USB ports down here, USB ports, 12, 12 volt, volt cigarette lighter ports. Yeah, the controls for your heater and for your air conditioning, which this model is equipped with. It's, it's a very that's everything. You can, you, can go, you can go camping uh, uh, in style virtually anywhere your four wheel drive will pull this. Yeah. Great. Well, let's check out the other side. Sure. So now we are on the passenger side. And uh, this is the side that has your shower. And exactly. Cars. So this is more or less your bathroom side. You can see we have a shower here. We have a place for all your toiletries, more bags for storage. Um, we also have, this also comes with an awning that extends out four feet by 10 feet to enclose this area give you a little bit of privacy when you're doing whatever you do. So you have your porta potty out here, your shower, and exactly. it's all private. And you're saying in this model you have an AC unit up front. Exactly. I said before we had a this this unit is equipped with air conditioning, which resides here. If you don't have the air conditioning, there is actually a slide out sink that that fills the space. Then there are also there's a little bit of storage underneath yeah. for small small items. But and in this case, you know, you don't necessarily need that sink because you have the sink on the other side. Exactly. But if in the case that you're not using the AC, you have a sink here to brush your teeth and do all the morning stuff. Sure. Yep. Yeah. And then I noticed there's some great little storage here for gear and recovery gear. Yeah. Once again, Conquer makes use of every available inch of space. Um, so this is there, there's one of these on the other side, but it's just a small bin for for any anything recovery gear. 
and it's got uh, tent poles and, and tent ropes in there right now, but uh, you can pretty much put anything you want in there. Another feature that we really like about this is it's got a it's got a hold open feature on it. It's it's the little things, right? You're not gonna get that. Right, so you don't have to worry about or... you don't have to worry about holding this up with your hand while you're getting the gear out of it. And overall, the construction on these things are just so rock solid, solid. I don't see them. They're bullet. They're they're all pretty, pretty bulletproof. Yeah. They're, um, uh, there's no wood on this anywhere, so nothing nothing's gonna rot. Frames are all made of hot dip galvanized steel. Yeah. Um, you can drag these over rocks and not, not mess them up. Yeah, the suspension's designed to go off road. The, the side panels are all made with aluminum, uh, electroplated aluminum, so they're, they're, they're really well built, and really solid. Yeah. Um, great. Right. Let's take a quick look at the front and the rear, so everyone knows what they're getting with this. But on the front of this, you have your spare tire, you have your gas tanks, diesel tanks. Sure, and you've yeah. also got a full-size spare tire. This unit's actually upgraded with 33-inch tires, which is the biggest tires we can fit on here. Um, in addition to the grill that we talked about before, there's also a spare stub axle. So the suspension on this is independent suspension, but if you burn up or blow up one of your uh, axles, it's just a four bolt, undo four bolts, yeah. put the new stub axle on, and you're back at business. And then up top, you have storage here too, if you want to strap those things yeah. in there. You put wood up here, Put your deer up here. You can put whatever, anything you, anything you need. All right. Let's take a look at the front because there's lots of storage in the front. Yep. Sure. Here too. Now we're at the front of the 490. Uh, you got your bunk bed that flips out, but tons of storage here. Really solid, solid front. Uh, tongue member right there. So tell us a little bit about it. So this front box is for two propane tanks. You can fit two, two 20 gallon propane tanks in there. Um, this second box is is primarily for your instant hot water on demand that just slides out like that. And when the hot water starts to flow, it automatically turns on and you've got hot water for both your shower uh, and or your sink. And they really thought about all the little things. So you see this little uh, top part that will yeah. make the, the this heat, is a heat shield. So yeah, when, heat shield, yeah. when the unit ticks on, it, it actually starts burning inside and then the, the excess heat comes out this way and it directs it away from your bed. So yeah. yeah. And on these, you have a lock and roll type of or yeah, it's, a, it's an off-road style hitch. Um, it's art fully articulated, so uh, you can take this places where uh, rip, rip, that would uh, normally tear up a regular bar. And then also that second bin, um, the rest of it is, is all is uh, perfect for storage. So again, that was the UEV 490. Yes, sir. UEV 440. Two awesome trailers. If you haven't seen them, you got to check them out. These things are just amazing. And if someone wanted to get one, where do they go? They go to hardscrabbleoutdoors.com. Um, once again, I'm Mike Lewis in Colorado Springs. I have all four models. Um, these are the two largest models, as I, as I said. We have two smaller models. I have all four models on the floor of my shop right now. Give me a call and come on over. Great. Make sure to check them out. If you like this video, like subscribe.